I mean, pediatrics, we actually see, you know, probably more variety than the adults do because little children have much different problems than older children do. We see everything from, you know, hydronephrosis, congenital anomalies of the kidney, you know, to children that are older that have urinary tract infections or wetting problems. Oftentimes, there's an issue with the way the penis developed. So um, sometimes for that, for circumcisions, um, oftentimes the circumcision is not done correctly, so they need to come see us. Um, that's more the reconstructive work, hernias, any kind of problems with the scrotum, undescended testicles, and then moving up the urinary tract, we deal with any problem with the bladder. There's um, you know, many different congenital um, anomalies of the kidney that can happen. Um, the kidneys can be blocked, kidney stones, urinary tract infections, and then we see the patients that also have issues with potty training, wetting, and then older children that have other issues with either the kidney, the bladder, or the genitalia. You know, some of the more cutting edge uh, pediatric urology care is robotic surgery. Patients that had issues with the kidney being blocked or needing surgery on their kidneys needed these big, huge incisions, because oftentimes these, these problems present in older childhood. So um, now with robotic surgery and laparoscopic surgery, we can do the same type of surgery probably better with very, very tiny incisions. So the patients are able to go home the next day, they're able to return to sports much earlier, able to return to their regular you know, activities, um, you know, playing, um, as opposed to having this very large incision, which really follows them throughout adulthood.